So here they sit, or actually I should say, here they hang. I've got the, there's the boom right there. This is uh, all the equipment for Clarissa. There's the mast that uh, I cut out of the White Mountain National Forest and took right down to a finished spar. And uh, the, uh, the boom I uh, put on white oak jaws and, and uh, lined it with leather so that it would uh, move smoothly around. There's a saddle right there. Anyway, all the pieces to Clarissa are in great, great condition. They're just, uh, and here they all, they're literally hanging in the rafters here down in the basement. Uh, they're in great shape. I mean, the, the beauty of it is, if I ever fix the hull, uh, Clarissa's going to have uh, some really nice components to put back aboard and, and get sailing. So um, I'm going to do an update on this later out in the uh, out in the chicken coop. I've gone ahead and gotten all the uh, all the other parts to her out of the shed where Clarissa is sitting. Um, but uh, what's out there now is the the seat. Uh, dagger board, um, the, uh, the, actually the floor, uh, and uh, and the rudder are all out in the all out in the chicken coop, and they're in good condition. They're going to have to be refurbished, probably repainted, uh, but they're they're in really great condition. Uh, the one fallback or the one thing that is not good, as I said, is the um, the hull itself, and uh, it's going to be a lot of work. So we're going to work on it. Anyway, um, the old girl deserves to come back, and I'm thinking about uh, how I'm best going to do that. Okay, so here is the chicken coop. It was uh, my grandfather's, and it was down in Chester, Vermont. I disassembled it, brought it all up here, and rebuilt it. Okay, that aside, that's not the point. A uh, tree came down during the heavy windstorm, and, and uh, it's blocking the door to the chicken coop actually it's blocking the whole bridge going over to it but uh, this is where I've got all of the parts for uh, Clarissa stored and um, I just got her got all of those out of the shed which is just up the hill here and this old shed has was here when we got here it's a mess uh, it's holding uh, the, the roof is staying together which uh, is, is nice because what that means is that uh, Clarissa is being protected uh, the roof to the the side shed there is all shot, which means it's going to snow on the on the uh, boat trailer during the winter. I'm going to get a tarp and put over that, I think. But anyway, just to get you oriented. Uh, this is this is where I'm working. Uh, it's sticking cold day today. If I get a chance, I'm going to get out here and start pulling some bungs on a little girl. Excuse me, <laughs> I got a little girl in the brain. I uh, start pulling some bungs on on Clarissa and kind of see where we're at with all those rusted out old zinc plated screws but in the meantime i'm anxious to get all the limbs cleared out and get inside my old chicken coop here and um, get some work done cleaning up all the parts that go aboard clarissa so anyway just a little update I've just been working on a few of these, few of these screws. You can see I've kind of cleaned out the slots, and uh, these are a few of those wonderful zinc-plated screws that just went all the pieces. They're not they're not completely de you know rusted to the point of nothingness, but they are definitely rusted to the point where they don't want to come out of there. Uh, so far, all I've done is take a big screwdriver to them and try to hand do them. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try to get back out here on a day off. I'm kind of cramming this moment in, in between other things. I've got to go finish studying for tonight for a Bible class. But uh, anyway, but you can see what we're dealing with here. Um, the heads are actually pretty well formed still. And I think I've only stripped one of these. I'm not sure which one it was, but anyway... Um, it's going to be a lot of work. All right, that's it for now. Uh, we're going to come back to this at another time when I've got more time. Well, it's filthy from being left out in the shed all this time, but this is the deck. The floor, as I called it earlier. 
This is the to Clarissa. Here's the here's the seat, and it only has one seat in the very stern. And uh, then here's the dagger board, and uh, all this worked fantastic. I mean, what a what a nice little dagger board. This thing just it was just enough depth and, and uh, fore and aft that it uh, really gave really good resistance through the water uh, and the rudder. I designed all this stuff and uh, with a really nice white oak uh, tiller on it. Anyway, all this stuff is handmade and uh, she needs a lot, a lot of TLC. But uh, a cool thing, I, I'm just, I'm just now uh, exchanged uh, the black bottom paint for red bottom paint uh, for uh, little girl, and I'll be able to just dress these things all out nice and get them nice and crisp. I got some really good uh, Pettit white paint, and I'll use that for the uh, for the top on each of these. And uh, as a matter of fact, that pettit white paint, is, I, I am going to have to do some more work aboard Little Girl with it, but uh, that'll go very nicely on all of this. So that's it. That's all of the parts for Clarissa that are being stored here out of the shed, out of the where all the dust and the crap was building up. Here's my wonderful kayak that's stored in here for the winter, so... This is where I did all the work uh, for the uh, combings on Little Girl. Every bit of it was done in here during the winter, about oh, three, three winters ago, two winters ago. And boy, I spent a lot, a lot of time in here stripping and sanding and uh, bleach washing th those combings uh, until I got them uh, nice and dressed out where they are now. Well, we're back out in the shed with Clarissa here. Um, I did some research on YouTube, and I realized I was kind of being hasty and foolish about not taking these screws out. Uh, and I did, with the research, found out that if you use uh, something to impact the screw, uh, you literally put the thing in the slot like this. And I'm not going to be able to do this. Uh, let's see if we get that. Yeah, get it into the, into the slot, and then you hammer on the back of it. What you're doing is you're breaking loose uh, the way that the screw is sitting in the hole by hammering it. And uh, you do that a number of times very, very firmly. And theoretically, then you go ahead and you uh, are able to back it out. And what I've found is by using my ratchet set, uh, I think it's, uh, which one is it here? I think it's this one right here. Anyway, by using the ratchet set, there we go. Well, after that little bumble, I found the right one, and uh, this sits in here perfectly. And just by using your ratchet uh, and putting pressure on the back of it as you're ratcheting, just a, a piece at a time, or just a, a ratchet at a time, you're able to go ahead and, and theoretically, anyway, theoretically, back the screw out of there. So anyway, going to be doing a little bit of that and uh, see how it comes out. It's working. It is working. I can't believe it. I, uh, I impacted it with a hammer and this one's coming out. I don't believe it. Actually, this is the second one I've gotten out. They are one inch screws. That means I can just buy, uh, I think these are 12s. I'm not sure. But anyway, I uh, buy about 200. I don't think I'd, I may do a count. I don't know. Uh, and just replace every single one of these screws with stainless steel. I've got two of them out right there. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start pulling all the screws, and we'll kind of go from there and see uh, see if this is gonna be a workable situation. But uh, I'll tell you what, I'm really pleased. I'm, uh, the thing that I love about this is. Um, I now have some hope for actually being able to do all this work on Clarissa without having to tear all these uh, timbers off. And uh, I'll tell you what, the planking on this was uh, very carefully put on, and I'd hate to go sawing it all off. So, hey, I'll, I'll take this any day of the week. There's two, 
two of the screws have been removed. Those old zinc plated screws, uh, they're not all, not all the pieces, they are rusted up. So uh, we'll just get stainless and replace everything. Got some really nice afternoon sunshine going. Shining right on old Clarissa here. done here, I'm writing my own light, I realize that. What I've done here is to make a sacrificial screwdriver that I'm going to be using with, with a hammer. I don't care if I ruin it because this blade is already bent. The beauty of it is that I don't have to sacrifice my hand. I was holding, I was holding one of these little deals. And uh, you know, you hold that and then you try to hammer in on the back side of it. Your fingers can definitely get in the way, if you know what I mean. Now, let's put it this way. The old hammer comes down and your fingers don't feel good. So. do it for this episode of uh, Clarissa the Reclaiming. Um, uh, you know, we're on the way. Uh, I, I think that uh, there's some hope. And uh, there's, so I've got four of the screws out right now. I've got one that's all stripped. The head is stripped and I'm going to have to study on how to get that out. But in the meantime, um, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of screws in Clarissa. And uh, I'm going to see about the possibility of getting some stainless and replacing them and rebunging everything and sanding everything and um, it's going to be a long long process especially where I'm restoring little girl and that's the priority I need to get little girl completely done up in the water by next summer uh, but in the meantime then my spare time while I'm up here in Vermont uh, Clarissa, Clarissa is finally getting a little attention that she is so well deserving so, of. Uh, thanks for stopping by the reclaiming and uh, we'll uh, Keep you posted as things get done. Uh, but, uh, you know, hey, um, we're started. We're started. <laughs>